But I just had to jump on and tell you what a great, you really are amazingly astute and profound in your, I, I watched a bunch of your, uh, your videos. And one thing I've noticed about you, I haven't found anybody that you couldn't find some goodness in, you know, you're very, you don't often, you know, listen to people that you don't like, do you? Or at least we don't hear you talk about it, which is nice. But the way you listen and how, and your voice is gorgeous and you are so astute in how you listen to music, the pictures you see, the stuff, the way you report music is just, okay, so obviously you do music yourself, right? And have you been trained? Is that, did you go to school for it or? Well, that's cool because I never got any training either and it never stopped me. So, um, but yeah, you're really profound the way you listen. I was, I'm, I was so impressed. I wanted to tell you is how, how great I think you are. I just think you're a tremendously talented young lady. And um, like, if we have our way, you'll be in this TV show if we get it sold. So there you go. Well, it was a fan of the fan of mine. She, she sent the clip to me and I was like, oh my God, this girl's amazing. And I started watching the other ones and I was just like, damn, she's good. And so then Franny, I said, Franny, I sent it to Franny and I said, we got to just tell her thank you. And then Franny took over and next thing you know, here we are zooming. You're so sweet. Uh, well, I think that's just from years of like, you know, we were just talking about schooling and I, you know, I never had schooling, but I did spend a lot of time in my bedroom with my guitar, just making stuff up. And I think when you do that, when you actually teach yourself, you have your own, I mean, I have my own voice. A lot of people say, oh, your voice is so unique. And I never know if that's a compliment or not, but it's probably unique because I just spend a lot of time by myself making stuff up, you know? And so you keep your true identity and not, you know, whereas he go to, a lot of those kids go to school and they learn to sing just like everybody else. You know what I mean? And I write very stream of consciousness. I don't really think about what I'm writing. I just let my subconscious sort of do all the work. Half the time, I don't even know what I'm talking about. You know, it's just like, like suddenly last summer, or the weirds are so weird to that. It happened one summer. It happened one time. It happened forever for a short time. Lady, what are you talking about? Um, so, but it's just. The experience of creating, which is my favorite thing to do. I write all kinds of music from country and western. We have to send you my jazz stuff. No, but you were, when you said she, this isn't about the movie, I was just like, oh my fucking God, excuse my French. Um, I was like, she knows. She absolutely, I had not seen the movie when I wrote that song, but I love alliterations. I love like so, suddenly last summer, it just, the way it sounds. I love the sound of words. And so I just took it and the longest song I've ever written. It literally started before I moved to LA. I was, I'm from Berkeley, California. And I was in the backyard and I was sitting in the sun. It was the end of summer. And all of a sudden this cold wind came up and I felt like, oh my God, that's, you know, it's the first sign of autumn. And I heard the ice cream truck. And when I heard the ice cream truck and felt that cold wind, I went, that's the last time I'm going to see the ice cream truck this year and this sort of this feeling of just that everything's going to change now and it won't come back the same way and that's what that song is about it's about things ending and and in summer and I got married really young I got pregnant when I was 15 and so I think that that was part of it you know it was like my life changed that summer and never went back the same way you know so those that's how and that song I never wrote it then, but years later, I moved to Los Angeles, like in the 80s. That was like 74 or something, 73. So in the 80s, I moved to LA and I wake up in the middle of the night with da 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 the Woody Woodpecker, I call it. Uh, <laughs> but that riff, and then I sat and I wrote the song right then, but it, it literally came from that afternoon, from that sensation of the wind. <laughs> Your voice is amazing. Oh, my God. I love you so much. I just had to tell you that.